Most of the technologies I've talked about so far is focused on matching digital input and output to the human perceptual and motor systems. Since that's the only way to get information into and out of our brain until someone comes up with a way to jack in, that, all of that is absolutely critical for a great virtual experience. But there's a real world out there on the other side of our perceptual system, and bringing that into VR would be hugely compelling. We'd be able to move around safely and confidently, pick up coffee mugs, see who just came into the room, be anywhere on Earth we wanted to be, and interact with anyone on the planet. There would no longer be a sharp line between VR and reality. Instead, we'd have a mixed reality that would let us choose whatever elements of each we wanted at any time. I'll call this mixed reality augmented VR. There are many, many aspects to making that work, but the two main themes are sensing and reconstructing the real world in general and virtual humans. Reconstructing the real world is challenging, but doable. You can go out right now and have someone scan a space and give you a model of it. Doing that with a consumer device in real time is another matter entirely, and yet that's what's needed to make augmented VR really useful. My prediction is that five years from now, augmented VR will be an integral part of virtual reality, and that it will transform VR into something that will be used for longer and for many more things than it can be today. While there are many unsolved problems and a lot of research and engineering still needs to be done, augmented VR is so important that I'm confident all the obstacles will be overcome and that the boundary between virtual reality and real reality will progressively blur over the next five years. Augmented VR will be quite different from the mixed reality that's possible with see-through AR glasses. With augmented VR, we will have a full model of the real scene and complete control over every pixel. So we'll be able to modify reality and mix it with the virtual world in literally any way we want. Any part of the scene could be virtual or real, and we could also mix the two closely. For example, changing the colors and textures of real surfaces or warping real textures across virtual surfaces. We could even send a model of a space to someone somewhere else, so that location itself becomes virtual. 